one of the questions I get asked the most here on YouTube and in real life when people know that I resell as a job is how do you know what to pick up? How do you know something will sell? My short answer to that question is after several years of reselling online, you just start to develop a sense for what to pick up, what will sell and be profitable. In today's video though, I'm going to give you the longer, more detailed answer to that question. I'm going to first start off by sharing this sourcing checklist that I use to determine whether to pick up something or not at the thrift store. And after that, we'll get into this thrift haul that I have in front of me. It's about 50 pairs of shoes that I picked up yesterday. And we'll go over each one and I'll explain why I decided to pick up these specific items. And hopefully after going through all of this, you'll have a better idea of what to pick up and just more confidence overall when you're out sourcing yourself. Let's start off with the checklist. There are eight items on this list and essentially all of these things are great features you should be looking for in the items that you're considering picking up to resell. I am going to go over each of these features or items on this list and explain a little bit about each of them but I did create a free download of this checklist with more tips and more details on each of the items. So if you want your own copy that has a lot more details I'll leave a link in the description for you to download it for free starting off with the first thing and that is that the item you're considering picking up should be in good condition this is kind of a gray area because it is going to depend on the item itself as you'll see with some of the items that I have here today if they are in okay condition sometimes they will still pass like with Western boots for example the condition on those does not need to be great or excellent in order for them to sell for high dollar and high profit the next thing is trendy style the item must be something that people are looking for and people are looking for trends there are lots of trends that are just classics that never go out of style and people are always looking for them they are always in demand and there are other trends that pop up here and there and then they go away so that is something you must stay on top of and do research I do have an ebook that you can download where it shares 25 of the classic styles if you want to learn more about that I will also leave a link to it in the description of this video the next one here is that the item has to be a popular brand there are many things that will sell on brand alone but there are other things that have a good brand attached to it and it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell. Next is great size. If the item is a larger size it has a higher potential to do well although smaller size items can do good too. Next is in season. If the item is in season then more than likely it's going to sell faster than an out of season item. Next is quality material. The better the quality the material is the better the item can do and then we have low price the price that you're paying at the thrift store has to be low enough to give you room for profit and that's going to include the cost of the item any fees that you're paying on the platforms anything you're paying out for help if someone's helping you list take pictures or anything like that any services you use take all of that into account then we have high comps comps means comparables and it's when you compare the item you're considering picking up online at different platforms like eBay and Poshmark you're going to compare the different prices that they are currently listed for but also what have they sold for in the past you're gonna use all of that information and compare it to decide whether the item is is going to be profitable or not. The point is not to find items that have all of those boxes on that list checked off. That's nearly impossible to do every single time. The point of the list is to use as a guide as you're out there sourcing to help you pick out better items. The more things that item checks off of that list, the higher chance it has to do well when you do list it on your selling platforms. And hopefully all of that 
that makes more sense as we dive into the thrift haul. I am going to apply this checklist to my items which are all shoes. That's the only thing I source and sell at the moment. But this checklist definitely does apply to other things as well, especially clothing. When it comes to electronics or home goods, some of the things may apply, but I'm thinking that those resellers have a different checklist they go by. Now let's get into the thrift haul. None of these shoes have been cleaned or processed. There's still price tags attached on all of them too because price and condition is two of the major things that I take into consideration so I wanted to leave them as is as I'm showing you this thrift haul. The first item up are these pair of Lulu's boots. Lulu's also makes dresses. I think that's mainly what they're known for. Their formal dresses for special occasions. If you don't know it though, I will try to show you the label. The reason I picked up these boots mainly is the style because they are a chunky platform. I can use keywords like Y2K for them, which is a great keyword to use at the moment. But also the condition of these boots is basically like new. I don't think they've ever been worn. They have no sort of signs of wear on, on the bottom soles. The price on these was $14. $14.91 but everything yesterday was 50% off so really these were like $7.50 which is not the greatest price for this brand Lulu's. So I do pick it up but it has to have other things from that checklist going strong in order for me to do so and that was the case for these boots and these are size 9 in case you're wondering. Another thing about these boots is the color. It's a beautiful color not your typical normal brown. Then we have these boots that are by a brand called Clark's which if you watch some of my older thrift hauls you will know I pick up this brand a lot. These here were $6.50 and they are size six and a half. These are more of a shooty style boot because they're not a complete ankle boot but they're not also a dress shoe so that's why they are called shooties and I do use that keyword in my title and description. This one here I picked up based on style because it has a western vibe to it. If it didn't have that going for it I probably wouldn't have picked it up. As you will see in that free download I explain sometimes these brands go through rebranding and they switch up the tags that they use. So this right here is an older style but since it is a western vibe and they are in okay condition I decided to go ahead and pick them up anyway. Next pair of boots are these gold covered boots. They have gold all on the top and on the heel. They are more of a special occasion type boot. So this is overall a great style but also the brand was a good plus as well. They are a brand called Matisse. These are in a size eight and a half and the material is leather. So all of those things put together make this a great pickup. The zipper in the front is more of an accent, just an extra detail. It's not functional. The actual closure is in the back right here. And these were only $3.50. So I guess that is another major plus for these boots, the price. That is very cheap for this brand in this style of boot. Next, we have have a pair of men's boots and these are by the brand Ariat. These are some western embroidered boots. Here's what the condition looks like at the bottom. So if you weren't experienced in selling these kind of boots you'd probably think they aren't in good condition but actually I sell western boots in this condition all of the time. I even paid $35 for them because I know that I can sell them for $80 sometimes up to over $100 depending on the style. These right here are a size 10D which I think stands for wide. The next pair of shoes we have is called Stuart Weitzman and again they are some shooties. They are black suede and these were only $3.50. They are a size six and a half. So these were mainly because of the price. $3.50 for this brand is not bad at all. We are slowly moving out of the boot season as I'm recording this video. We're nearly heading into April so I am 
not picking up as many boots as I was about a month ago so the ones that I do pick up I want them to be very low on price or at least have a lot of sellable features this one right here I would say doesn't have that but the price was good next up we have the brand Rolf Lauren and they are these black rain boots these were eight dollars and fifty cents these right here are a size nine they do have a little bit of what looks like wear all along Along the rubber but I know with this type of material I can get it cleaned up fairly easily just with the wipe sometimes but when there are marks on there that are a little bit more stubborn you can use um, nail polish remover and that will get it cleaned up so I knew that I couldn't get them looking nice at eight dollars and fifty cents I know there's room for profit and I've sold this boot before I feel like rain boot is one that you can sell year-round so that's why I decided to pick this one up and it will be very simple for me to list them because I will just have to copy and paste my title and description. Next up, we have this brand called 511 Tactical. These right here are oil and slip resistant, so that is a good feature to have on them. They were only $6.50, which is very cheap for this brand. This is like a utility type brand that sells really good in clothing and in shoes. And since it was a very low priced, I thought it was a definite pickup. Overall, they are in great condition. They just have a little bit of creasing right here at the front, but the bottoms look excellent. The insoles are in there, but they're not the original ones. So maybe I'll have to ask for just a little bit less due to that reason. But I think overall, these have the potential of doing really well. And there is a lot of room for profit due to the low price. Next up, we have these lace up strappy boots the straps aren't on there properly right now so they look like they're all over the place but once I get them cleaned up and laced up and buckled properly these are gonna be some nice looking boots and I picked them up mostly based on style they are suede at the top and they are by a brand called Gianni Beanie I sell this brand a whole lot it reminds me a lot of Steve Madden where they make everyday casual normal type shoes Shoes, but then they also have those shoes that are out there a little bit more quirky and more trendy these are a size seven and a half and the condition on these is excellent the price I paid for these was six dollars and fifty cents these right here totally a style based pickup I sell this style of shoe all of the time it is a lace-up Oxford with brogue details which are these little holes right here it has the wing tip on the front all of those are keywords that will get these shoes sold fairly quickly even if the brand is not noteworthy. I've sold these in other even Payless brands like American Eagle. There is the American Eagle Outfitters but there's also American Eagle that's for Payless. I've sold like two or three of those kind of shoes that look like this style and they always end up selling for about the 18 to 20 dollar mark so if I can find them very cheap then I pick them up these right here were four dollars and fifty cents and they are a size eight the next pair of boots are these right here pointed toe patent leather by a brand called Torrid which I think many of you know by now these were only four dollars and fifty cents and they are size 11 extra wide so a lot of things going for the the shoes that was like an easy pickup for me they are extra wide I always put that in my title and more towards the front so people see it they are priced very reasonably at five dollars and Torrid is a very noteworthy brand that people look out for all of the time so that is the reason I picked up these boots the next pair of boots are by Timberland I think they're too soft to be new buck so I'm going to say suede they are dark gray lace up combat style and these right here I picked up because of the condition and the price they just have some rocks that I will have to 
get out but other than that they are in excellent condition and for only eight dollars and fifty cents this is a great style of boot in this brand and that price is really worth it they are also waterproof again another feature i am going to add in my title more towards the front and it is a classic style that people look out for i do pick up this brand a lot and it always does fairly well for me as long as it's in great condition but there are often times that I pass it up because they have too much wear or because they price it up way too high at the thrift store. This is those kind of brands that sometimes you can find them fairly decently priced and sometimes the thrift stores just go way out there pricing them at like $50, $60 and even on half off days it's fairly questionable whether you will make a profit on them or not. The next pair of boots we have is by a brand called Crown Vintage. These are black new buns but I'm not sure if they are real leather they are not these are faux leather they are size 8 and they're more of a Chelsea boot these are in excellent condition which was one of the main things main reasons I picked it up they were six dollars and fifty cents Chelsea is a very popular style of boot and because of the condition that is why I decided to pick up this pair of shoes but I do pass up crown vintage more than I pick it up and here we have the last pair of boots which is totally based on style this right here is considered a Victorian style boot so those are the keywords I will use and they have buttons going up the sides that makes them look a little bit more cute and adds a little bit extra to the shoe the fact that they are two-tone and it has the tan and the black all of those are great things they were only four dollars and fifty cents they are by Zara and they are a size 36 and here's what the bottoms look like so not the best of condition but I think I can clean them up fairly good and because of the style I think that's going to sell them so that right there was all of the boots that I picked up yesterday if we were in boot season I would have picked up a lot more I passed up a lot of boots that I was picking up a few months ago when we were in the middle of boot season but since we're phasing out of that season I'm not picking up as many and things that I would normally pick up I pass on because I know since we're not going to be in the cold weather season here in the U.S. they're going to sit for a little bit longer so I try to stick to those kind of styles that are more year-long type things or maybe if they're fairly low priced it's just all of those things on the checklist you have to take into account when you're sourcing. The next set of items I'm going to show you are all sandals so all of these are in season since we're heading into the hot summer I am more lenient on the type of brands and things I pick up when it comes to this category first up we have these pair of torrid thong sandals strappy crisscross on the front here's what the condition looks like at the bottom not excellent but I would say great and these were four dollars and fifty cents then we have Clark's again some slip-on strappy sandals the condition on these is excellent these right here were six dollars and fifty cents and they are size nine if it were winter still and we weren't in spring heading into sandal weather these past two sandals I showed you is probably something I would pass up on but this right here is something I would pick up even if it was in the middle of winter these are some studded Sam Edelman flat sandals and that is purely because of the style of these these were six dollars and 50 cents they are a size 9 and they are like a taupe leather and they are more of a gladiator sandal so because they have more going for it that is the reason why I would pick up the sandal no matter the season same thing for this next sandal these are by Betsy Johnson they have spike studs here's what the bottoms look like they have clear straps they are also a gladiator style sandal and they are a silver metal color 
So again, a lot of things going for this shoe. So I would pick it up even if it was winter time. These were $6.50 and the size is a seven. More studded rhinestone sandals. These right here are Steve Madden. They're also Gladiator flat style sandal. I paid $6.50 for these and they are a size eight. Up until now, I haven't really talked about the last item on that list which is high comps that is because I don't do much comps I pick up only shoes I find mostly the same things every time I go to the thrift store the same brands and the same style of shoes but there are times that I come across something new that I didn't know before and then I will have to do comps and that is the case for these pair of sandals they are by a brand called Papillo I did not know that this this is a Birkenstock brand. Now these were very pricey. They were $20. Since they were that high of a price, I did take the time to do those comps. And after seeing what was available, I had confidence that I could sell these for a profit, mainly because of the condition. They are in excellent, like new condition, and also the color. This is a very popular color, the chestnut brown. So I'll be sure to put that in my top title when I'm listing it but if these weren't in this great of a condition I probably would have left them behind mainly because of the price. Here we have some more torrid sandals. These are some platform slides. That right there already is a great feature to have that it is a chunkier style sandal. These were $7.50 and they are size 9. Condition on these is excellent. Literally like new. I don't think they've ever been worn. I don't don't see any signs of wear. $7.50 for Torrid is a little bit much to pay because I normally only sell them for anywhere from $20 to $25 depending on the style. If they're boots I will sell them for a lot more but at $20 to $25 and then you also factor in the platform fees and everything else I have to pay in order to run this reselling business it's not really worth paying that much for this brand Torrid but because they are in great condition because they are this style of shoe and because they are wide width I decided to go ahead and pick these up and ask for a little bit more than I usually do for this type of shoe in this brand. Next up we have Michael Kors. This is Michael by Michael Kors so it's their lower end brand. If you find something that just says Michael Kors then that will be worth more. They are in great condition as you can see on the bottom right here and they were only $7.50. Red in heels sells really well for me so for all of those reasons I decided to pick this shoe up but there are times that the thrift store will mark up this brand to like $20 after the half off. That's when I pass up on it but since it was only $7.50 again the color, the style of shoe, the brand, all of those things add value to it so I felt confident in picking the up. Next up we have this brand called Naturalizer which I do sell a lot of but I did almost pass up these sandals because of the condition. Here's what the bottoms look like. They are a little bit dirtier than I'd like and also they do have a little bit of fading around the edges so a little bit of wear. So when I saw that I was about to put them back but I do like the style a lot because they are platform. The main selling point for these for me was that they are nine wide. Wide shoes do better than just normal shoes or at least they sell faster and you can ask for at least a little bit more for them. These were $6.50. But because of the size, because of the style, because I sell this brand all of the time, I decided to not worry too much about the not so perfect condition. Now, if they were even worse than this, then I would probably pass up regardless of all of the other great features. But because I know I can get these at least looking somewhat okay, I think that I can sell them for a decent profit. Then we have this brand called White House Black Market.
market i do pick up these this brand in shoes sometimes but not always i like that these were square toe they have the braided thing right here they are more of a mule heeled sandal i've sold this type of shoe lots of times in other brands and since this one is a more notable one i think they have the opportunity to do well these were six dollars and fifty cents and these right here are a size six and a half next up we have brighton this is a brand that i would pick up a lot when i was selling purses and it always did really well it is like a modern brand but with a vintage vibe these were eight dollars and fifty cents and they are a size 10 so a little bit of a bigger size they are black with the contrast stitching and they have charms at the end so some cute sandals at eight dollars and fifty cents it is a little bit of a higher price to pay but i think the brand will carry them through and i wasn't finding a whole lot of things yesterday when i was sourcing i only had time to go to two stores so i was trying to make the most of it so that is why i picked these up but if i was finding a lot of things then i would have more options to choose from it and i would have probably passed these up mainly because of the price eight dollars and fifty cents for some sandals is not really the best price next up we have this brand called pinup couture pinup style shoes in general is something that i love picking up and selling they sell pretty quickly and depending on the brand they can sell for pretty good profit and even if you find these pinup rocky billy style shoes in a not so good brand they still have the potential to sell good for you that is why i decided to pick these up brand is okay the style of shoe and even though the condition is not the best they were a decent price at three dollars and fifty cents so that is why i decided to pick up the shoe not because of the condition not necessarily the brand but because of the style and the price and by the way these are a size 10. these right here are sam edelman ankle strap sandals these were six dollars and fifty cents they are size six and a half here's what the condition looks like not the best but because of the color because they are ankle strap sandals they have the chunky block heel they are more like i'd like to call them dainty style sandals that is why i picked these up i sell this style of sandal all of the time and because we are heading into spring and summer the color of these and the brand will carry them through these right here i do remember it is mainly because of condition they are excellent condition on the top in excellent condition on the bottom there's no signs of wear they are like new and they are a brand that i sell a whole lot i think you can see it right here vince camuto or right here you can see the logo inside these right here were seven dollars and fifty cents so not a bad price for this brand in excellent condition they are leather and they are size eight and a half another thing that these have going for it is the color it is more of a nude taupe color but also the style of shoe when we're transitioning from one season to another i like to pick up transitional style shoes which is what these are they are like an ankle but they have the peep toe and also the perforated accents going on right here so that makes it more of a transitional shoe from winter to spring and I think these will do great more dainty style sandals these are by nine west they are again a square toe and these were only three dollars and fifty cents and they are size seven in black leather nine west is another brand that I pass up more than I do pick up I try to make sure it it is in a great style and also that the price is decent at three dollars and fifty cents i think there is a lot of room for profit for these right here we have sam edelman sandals again once we get to the spring and summer i pick up this brand like crazy i also do pick it up in the winter a lot of their boots do well for me but particularly their sandals in the summer i pick them up all of the time these right here were only three dollars so an excellent price for sam edelman 
sandals also the style of them with the pearl embellishment and this is in their classic style with the thong and the ankle strap these kind of sandals by them do really well and with those added features of the pearls and also that they're black patent leather I think these can do very well they are size eight and a half with Sam Edelman and Vince Camuto and Franco Sardo sometimes they're soles at the bottom can look not okay but I can tell when I'm able to clean them up really well with some goo gone and some wet disinfecting wipes normally all of this darkening around the edges will go away and they will look excellent after these next sandals are a complete style based pickup they are by a brand called bear trap bear traps I think it is a Kohl's brand I was trying to see if it said it right here in the title it doesn't these were only three dollars and fifty cents I'm pretty sure some time ago I may have done comps and I saw that they don't sell well so then I just automatically passed them these right here I didn't even do comps on I just picked them up because of the style because of the price because of the condition I decided to pick these up regardless of brand and also because of the season these have a lot of things going for them they were only three dollars and fifty cents the style is okay I mean if you pick these up in a not so good brand then they could sit these lace-up style what are they boot sandals but they are Jeffrey Campbell which is an excellent brand of shoe to pick up I do have to sit on them a little bit longer than some of my other shoes they usually take maybe like two to three months to sell sometimes it will be a little bit of a faster sell but for the most part I find myself sitting on this brand for longer but because they do sell for more I am okay with that these were only three dollars and fifty cents and I'm thinking I can get upwards of $35 for sure for these maybe up to $40 they are a size eight and a half and they are leather on top and leather inside that's something that I haven't been mentioning much throughout this thrift haul that's on that list and that is material when I'm outsourcing and I'm looking through all of the racks and I see something interesting the first thing I do is of course check the condition I look at the bottom soles to make sure that they are okay okay and cleanable and if they are then I look at the brand and if it's an okay brand that I know then I will decide whether to pick it up or not if it is a brand that I don't know the next thing I do is check the material if it is leather material or something like sheepskin when it's winter wool or something like that then I'm more likely to look into it further by doing comps on eBay if it is just a faux leather material then it is not worth as much and depending on the other things that the shoes may have going for it I may do comps or I may just leave it behind this right here is the last pair of sandals and then we move on into sneakers flats and dress shoes these are by a brand called Skechers that I'm sure you know and this is only because they were new with tags they are a size 8 they are stretchy strappy and they are a metallic -y taupe color I've sold this style of Skechers sandals before they are called the Lux foam and since they are new with tags a cork wedge I think there's a little bit of room for profit even if they're new with tags they're not gonna sell for very much some Skechers shoes can can do really well like their older vintage styles but when it comes to more modern styles only some will sell for good money and others won't first up in the dress shoes category we have again this brand Clark's these right here were seven dollars and fifty cents these are a size seven they are the ultimate comfort Clark's collection line these are just some simple minimalist type pumps and these do really well for me we have Clark's again Again, this time it is their bendable line these are I think mainly because of the size they were seven dollars and fifty cents and they are a size eight wide just your normal classic loafer the condition is good on them then we have Ann Klein I flex again this is a brand kind of like nine West I leave it behind more than I pick it up but the style of these I think is excellent at four dollars and fifty 
50 cents it is not that bad this is more of a dressy academia style shoe so that is what I'm going to add into my titles and descriptions they are a size 8 and they are in great condition next we have Clark's again and these are their artisan line so these boots are not in the best of condition they do have a little bit of creasing and in the bottom they do have a little bit of heel drag as well but I think that I can get them cleaned up a little bit by stuffing them with the brown packing paper. Then I will use some Dr. What is it? Doc Martens Leather Balsam to get the scuffs out and make the leather look a little bit nicer. The reason I decided to pick these up, even though they're not in the best of condition, is because I've sold this style of boot in the brand Skechers before. I've sold it twice and both of the times it sold for good money and really fast so I'm thinking that the same style of boot and the Clark's brand is gonna do just as good and another plus with these boots is that they were three dollars and fifty cents so the price and the style definitely made up for the condition of these boots and these are a size eight and a half so not a bad size either so I'm talking about all of the reasons I pick up these shoes but sometimes it's just because of experience because I know I can sell them again because I've picked it up before in the past and it has sold for me and that is the case for this next pair of shoes they are by Skechers they are this knit style flat I picked up this style of shoe in all sorts of colors round and uh, pointed toe these are memory foam they are air cooled and extra points if they are wide fit these are not but when I find them wide fit I'm willing to pay up just a little bit more for them they are a size 10 and the price that I paid was only three dollars the condition is excellent as well I really don't see any signs of wear it's like new the sticker right there is still attached and there's no damage on it so that tells me that these are probably brand new I will mark them as great condition like new because I don't know for sure but these definitely will do well we have some Minnetonka tassel kill tie loafers at the front right here that is what this feature is called kill tie also has the tie the bow right here all of those things i will use in my title they are size six and a half a beautiful color in this tan leather these were six dollars and fifty cents but look at the condition of these there will be hardly any cleaning that needs to be done to these if anything all i will have to do is put some brown paper right here to make sure they're not squished when I take pictures and that they hold their shape really well we have some more Clark shoes these are some metallic -y bronze type shoes they were seven dollars and fifty cents and the size on these are six and a half wide so that is the main reason I decided to pick them up because they are wide but also this classic style loafer does really well for me and I know that metallic type shoes are trending right now anything that's silver gold or bronze metallic is doing really well right now so if any shoes I see at the thrift store have that feature I'm more likely to pick them up this I picked up mostly because of the brand they are towels they are some slip-on shoes with the floral canvas they are in excellent condition seven dollars and fifty cents for these and they are a size 10. the next brand we have is called Kazik. these are some running style athletic type shoes it is my very first time picking up these shoes i did comps and they seem to be doing okay and they were only six dollars and fifty cents so after doing the comps i felt like there was plenty of room for profit there for me although these aren't in the best of condition i I feel like I can work with them. The insoles are removable so I'm going to take them out and scrub them down with some shoe cleaner. I'll do the same thing to the bottoms and I think I can get these looking right and I'm excited to see how this brand does so that I can pick it up in the future again. These are a size 7 in women's. We have Vans which I'm sure you know what the brand looks like and you've heard of it in the past. These I picked them up because they were only $8.50. I sell 
Vans a lot. I can tell you that they do sit for me, but because of the color of this shoe, I think that these can sell for a little bit faster than usual. There are unisex, a men's size six, a woman's size seven and a half, and they are in excellent condition. I will only need to do a little bit of cleaning in the midsole. With that white magic eraser, I'll just wet it and I'll be able to get that very white. So that is why I decided to pick them up because the brand, I sell it all the time. The color is great, the price is great, the size is great, and the condition, I can get them looking excellent. Next we have J Slides. This is a popular brand, but I also like that they were the gold, and I told you, metallic is in right now. I also have the tassels right here. They're a mule style shoe with a platform, so a lot of things going for these shoes. They were $8.50 and they are a size 10 and overall they're in great condition these right here are a brand called OTOT which I think stands for off the beaten trail something like that they are a comfort shoe brand that does really well on reselling platforms they were seven dollars and fifty cents they are a Mary Jane style and they have a platform so all of that is great I believe they are real leather let me find the tag so they are leather upper and they are size seven and a half we have a dance go which is a brand that I come across a lot but I also leave behind a lot I decided to pick these up because of comps I saw they look different and interesting and they were a clogged style shoe so I decided to do comps and they were looking pretty good these were eight dollars and fifty cents with that price after seeing the comps I think there's a lot of room for profit for me these are are a size 38 they are black rubber all around with the floral pattern cut out and they are in excellent condition when I'm checking for condition by the way one of the main things I want to see is that there's no sort of smoothness going on I want to be able to see the pattern on the shoe if there's too much smoothness either on the edge on the front or at the bottom then all of the other things on that checklist must be a perfect 10 in order for me to pick it up here we have this brand called Everlane which I picked up sometimes when I was selling clothing I don't remember if I've ever picked up a pair of shoes by this brand in the past but I do remember it did okay in certain styles when I was selling clothing these were eight dollars and fifty cents these are a size six leather on top and leather inside now that I'm looking at them here with you I think maybe I should have passed on them or at least done my comps because the condition is not the best and because they are eight dollars and fifty cents it's a little bit higher than my average I'm not too sure if these are going to perform well I should have done my comps on this one here we have a brand called Converse which is very popular so I'm sure you know it these were seven dollars and fifty cents I got these because of style because they are camo with the floral embroidery and it is a popular well-known skater type brand these are unisex men's size six women's size eight I've sold Converse from time to time they tend to do okay I try to keep my cost as low as possible on those because the selling price is not too high unless you get something unique like their knee-high style converse shoes or platform style these next ones I also paid seven dollars and fifty cents and they are just their classic navy blue style and they are in excellent condition so if nothing else I think these will be a little bit of a faster sell because they are their classic low top next up we have some more Clarks this is their collection line these are just a classic clog style shoe but they were only four dollars and fifty cents and look at the condition so great and they are also a size 12 wide so wide is already great to begin with but when it is even a larger size like 12 11 10 that's even better so I think this is a great pickup for all of those reasons if these shoes were a lot smaller or even double the price I would have probably left them behind but since they were so cheap they're a great size and great condition all of those things it has going for it these are going to do good the next brand we have is called Kelly and Katie which is a brand that does not sell for a whole bunch to begin with at retail 
stores so when you try to resell them you're not going to get too much for them but I still do pick them up from time to time if it has a lot of those things on that list checked off for these for example they are a size 11 so a little bit of a larger size they are Diorce style and they are just this classic pump but it does have a little bit of something extra like a detail going around the trim and they are in excellent condition as well they were only four dollars and fifty cents so for all of those reasons even though the brand isn't excellent i know these are going to perform well next we have this brand called kohan which do a lot of dress shoes but from time to time i will pick up their pumps these right here are floral they are leather and they are a size 10. they also have a little bit of like croc embossed detail going on again a classic pump that is in excellent condition they were also only four dollars and fifty cents four dollars and fifty cents for a kohan like new condition pump are all good features when you put them together so that is why i picked these up we have some more betsy johnson shoes they are floral lace a tan khaki color they were only four dollars and fifty cents and they are a size nine and a half more of a peep toe style they have a stiletto heel that's covered in either fabric or suede so this is a great brand at a great price great condition and a great style because it is a bridal style shoe and lastly we have these vagabond loafer platform shoes that is why i picked them up because of the style because they are platform and chunky and those tend to do well for me price was also great at three dollars and fifty cents they are a size seven and they are also leather on top here's what the condition looks Looks like at the bottom it also has a lug sole so many many features that are great in the shoe that will help it sell I hope me going through that thrift haul and my thought process behind why I picked up each of those items gives you a better idea of how to seek out items that are actually going to sell online at the end of the day though it really is just going to take experience some trial and error and doing this over and over again the thrifting and the listing to get really good at it but I think that checklist is at least a very good starting point so that you know what to look for in these items and once you do get good at picking up profitable items you're also going to need to know how to properly describe these items in your listings descriptions and titles so if you need help with that area go watch this keywords video next thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one